Have you ever stopped to wonder how animation might be shaping our children's perception of race? This question may seem a bit out of left field, but consider this. Animation is a powerful tool that permeates every corner of our children's lives. From Saturday morning cartoons to educational apps, these colorful, engaging forms of media are as much a part of their world as school and play. Animation has the unique ability to both educate and entertain, making it an ideal medium for reaching young minds. But this power isn't always wielded for good. Just like any other form of media, animation can subtly, and sometimes not so subtly, shape perceptions and attitudes. These messages, implicit or explicit about race, can leave lasting impressions on impressionable minds. So what's the real story here? How is animation dealing with race? And perhaps more importantly, how should it be dealing with it? Let's delve into some examples of how animation has dealt with race. Animated films and shows, while entertaining, can sometimes perpetuate stereotypes. Let's delve into some examples to illustrate this point. Take Disney's The Princess and the Frog, for instance. It was a landmark movie, being the first Disney animation to feature an African-American princess. Yet it wasn't without its controversies. Critics pointed out the film's depiction of voodoo, a cultural aspect often misunderstood and misrepresented, was far from accurate. Moreover, the fact that our princess spends most of the movie as a frog, rather than showcasing her as a strong black woman, raised more than a few eyebrows. Then there's Aladdin, another Disney classic. This film, while loved by many, has been criticized for its portrayal of Arabic characters and culture. The exaggerated features of the villains, the broken English, and the desert setting, all these elements reinforce stereotypes about the Middle East that are far from the diverse realities of the region. Let's not forget Mulan, a film that was praised for its representation of Chinese culture, but also criticized for its westernized storytelling. The movie features a strong, independent female lead, which is commendable, but the narrative, heavily influenced by Western values, strays from the original Chinese legend. This whitewashing of stories is a frequent critique of Hollywood's portrayal of non-Western cultures. These examples are not to say that these films are all bad. Quite the contrary, they've made strides in representation and diversity. The Princess and the Frog did give us our first black Disney princess. Aladdin introduced us to a whole new world of storytelling, and Mulan showcased a powerful female protagonist in a historically male-dominated genre. However, these examples also highlight the challenges that animators and storytellers face when portraying different races and cultures. It's a delicate balance between staying true to cultural authenticity, avoiding perpetuating harmful stereotypes, and creating an engaging and entertaining narrative. While these examples show progress, they also underscore the challenges that animators face when portraying different races and cultures. Animation has the power to shape perceptions about race, for better or worse. But imagine a world where animators and studios take a step further, where they consciously work to portray races and cultures with accuracy and respect. A world where a child can watch a cartoon and see characters that truly represent the diversity of the human race. Not just in terms of skin color, but also in terms of culture, tradition, and values. Think about it. The potential of animation is boundless. It can be a tool for teaching kids about the beauty of diversity, fostering empathy, and understanding from an early age. We need more diversity in animation, not just in the characters we see on screen, but also in the creators behind these characters. A more diverse group of creators can bring a wider range of experiences and perspectives to the table, enriching the world of animation. By being mindful of how animation shapes our children's perception of race, we can help ensure a more inclusive and understanding future. So what role does animation play in shaping children's perception of race? As we've explored throughout this video, Animation carries significant influence. It's a magical medium that transports children to different worlds, introducing them to characters that can either reinforce stereotypes or challenge them. We've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. Animations that uphold diverse and multidimensional characters, and those that unfortunately perpetuate harmful racial stereotypes. These are challenges that we must acknowledge and address. Yet the future of animation holds immense potential. We've glimpsed the promising strides being made with creators consciously weaving narratives that promote inclusivity and understanding. Animation, in its essence, is a tool for storytelling, and storytelling is a powerful means of education. As we move forward, let's remember the power animation holds. It can build bridges of understanding or walls of division. Animation is a powerful tool, and with conscious efforts, it can help foster a better understanding of race in our children.